Hello everyone, my name is Roya, and today I will be reviewing Together Tea by Marjan Kamali. So this is an Iranian historical fiction about a girl named Mina, um, who at the age of 25, this is 1996 that this takes place, but most of the book actually takes place when she's like 10, because she left um, during the Iranian Revolution. So our main character, Mina, lived in Iran until she was 10 before her family moved to the U.S. And at age 25, she's basically dealing with uh, being in business school when she actually wants to be an artist and all of that. And, um, and her mother is trying to, like, set her up with whatever eligible Iranian bachelors are there, blah de blah And she's kind of just like, why, why are you even bothering, mother? Just leave me alone. One day, she decides that she wants to go back to Iran on a vacation. So then, the middle third of the book, it's actually more than a third of the book, it's like most of the middle of the book, takes place back in flashback when she's 10 years old in Iran. And it is interesting, that's like the most interesting part of the story to me. It almost, like while I was reading all the parts about when she's 10 years old and everything that went down and why her family left Iran, all of that, that was the most interesting part to me. And while I was reading that, I kind of wondered why uh, why even have the part at the beginning and the part at the end where she's 25. And um, another thing that's really interesting is that the uh, summary on the back of this book very much implies that this is just some kind of fluffy romance or something, because all it talks about is like, oh, Mina's mother is trying to set her up with people, but then she meets, she goes to Iran and she meets a guy who's, you know, not the kind of guy that her mom would have thought of, blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't mention anything about the more serious things about this book. So I was expecting like some random fluffy thing and I wasn't all that excited about reading it and then once I picked this up and once I got past the first few chapters and got to the part where it starts talking about you know the flashbacks um from when she's 10 years old I was like oh my goodness this book is so good and I was on the edge of my seat all of a sudden basically we have this 10 year old girl who lives who leaves Iran where everyone's like bad mouthing the US and they like hate the US and she goes to the US and everyone's just like um bad mouthing Iran almost and in the news it shows like two clips of like somebody in a chador and then um nothing about actually what's going on and it there is a lot of really fascinating commentary in this book about how the news dehumanizes people who are outside of the US in a way and um the, and how they don't they're not showing the real Iran they're not showing what the people there are actually like or anything about it at all they're almost painting Iran as like oh this blah place with like people who are weird and blah 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 and so it has some really interesting commentary on this and also this is a very informative book for anyone who wants to get more familiar with Iranian history and all of that. So this kind of goes through the Iranian revolution and kind of what happened and then also the Iranian, the Iran-Iraq war. And Mina's grandmother actually got hit by a bomb just from being in the wrong place at the wrong time um, because Iraq started attacking and blah blah blah. So it's really fascinating and it really does show a lot about what Iranian history is like. But again, there are a lot of things in when it follows me Mina as an adult and um, and her mother and everything like there is a lot in this book that you have to wonder why did that even happen and then when it gets to the part where she's an adult towards the end of the book it really speeds through like a lot of time in like two seconds and that kind of decreased the like uh, that kind of made it seem too convenient and too like, oh, this happened really fast, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it wasn't as interesting. But um, even but really, the interesting part of this book is the flashbacks. So like, during the beginning part where she is an adult and everything, an adult in business school who wants to be an artist, blah, 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 um, I couldn't help but think like, oh, well, I, I don't know what the talk about this book is about. Like, why did this book win all these awards? Like, this is probably like a three star read. And then it got to the flashback part. And I was like, holy crap, this book is so good. So really, the beginning and the end um, parts earned like three stars from me. And then the middle section was like a five star read. Um, so 
So overall, I gave this book four stars. I've definitely never read anything that highlights the subject of how do you know what you know? How do you know the news isn't lying to you better than this book has? So anyway, um, let me know if you've read this book and what your thoughts are. Let me know what your favorite um, Iranian book is that you would recommend or your favorite Middle Eastern book in general, because there are a lot out there that do a really good job of, um, of discussing Iranian history, but I'd also love to hear about more that discuss like Lebanese history and everything else. So definitely if you have any recommendations feel free to leave them in the comments and I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye!